On behalf of the Commonwealth Secretary General and the Commonwealth Secretariat, it is my great pleasure to greet you today, Executive Secretary, Distinguished Ministers, representatives of international organisations and agencies, distinguished guests, friends. We take this opportunity to congratulate countries present and greet other partners in the UN system, in the Caribbean, Europe and in civil society. The Commonwealth as an intergovernmental organisation through which regional interests can be articulated and supported and capacity strengthened is pleased to be part of this event. Caribbean states form a significant block of Commonwealth Island and coastal member states and this agreement, the first of its kind for the Caribbean and Latin America and for UN ECLAC, is a landmark achievement. We note the synergies and similarities of objectives between the Escazo Agreement and core principles on, upon which Commonwealth engagement is based. Inclusive and participatory engagement is key to sustainable development and is a thread that runs through the economic, social and environmental principles adhered to by the Commonwealth family. The Commonwealth Charter depends on its inclusi inclusivity among its diverse membership as an effective network for cooperation and for promoting development. Among its 53 member states in six regions with more than 2 billion people, all mem member states have a say, regardless of size. As the Charter further notes, being a recognised intergovernmental champion of small states means advocating for their special needs, providing policy advice on political, economic and social development issues and delivering technical assistance. Core Commonwealth principles of consensus and common action also include peaceful, open dialogue and the free flow of information, mutual respect, inclusiveness, transparency, accountability, legitimacy and responsiveness. These significant principles are reflected in the Escazu Agreement with regard to the sustainable use of natural resources, biodiversity conservation, the fight against land and ocean degradation and climate change, and building resilience to disasters. Environmental protection and respect for the rights of others has always been addressed in agendas of biannual meetings of Commonwealth heads. Accordingly, the focus in the Escazo Agreement on supporting the rights of marginalised communities, strengthening resilience and fostering wider access to information and justice strikes a resonant chord. The Commonwealth has been working hard to re-energise its climate change programme to complement its mature workstream on climate finance. This includes focusing on improved access to data and surveillance tools for Commonwealth countries most at risk from climate change and working on preparing a toolkit on climate resilience and building back better following extreme weather events. In light of the warning notes struck in the special report on keeping global warming below 1.5 degrees centigrade, approved by the IPCC on 6th of October 2018, and the urgent need for coordinated action on climate change post the Paris Agreement, the synergies between the objectives of the Commonwealth Charter, the Commonwealth Blue Charter and the Escazo Agreement are tangible. The 2018 Commonwealth Blue Charter adopted by heads of government at their summit a year ago applies key charter principles to the ocean with the objective of supporting member countries in meeting their international, regional and national commitments many of which relate to the sustainable utilisation of marine resources and protection of biodiversity while protecting ocean health for future generations. Twelve member countries have stepped forward to lead action groups on aquaculture, the blue economy, coral reef restoration, mangrove restoration, marine protected areas, marine plastics, ocean acidification, ocean and climate change and ocean observations. It is undeniable that progress characterised in this multilateral fashion is an increasingly better means of achieving global or regional targets that will endure. We see a role at the Commonwealth Secretariat in providing our member countries with independent, balanced advice about the Escazo Agreement and its implications and objectives and helping to build capacity 
and raise awareness on its human rights and environmental aspects, rights and obligations. We commend Antigua and Barbuda, Guyana and St Lucia as the first Commonwealth states that have signed the Escazo Agreement, and particularly Guyana on being the first Commonwealth member state and the first state of the 33 Latin American and Caribbean countries to ratify the Escazo Agreement one week ago. And we invite others to sign and continue to ratification if ready and willing to do so. We will continue to collaborate with the UN ECLAC, Secretariat and other regional bodies on developing partnerships within and across regions and in garnering donor, regional and international support to assist our Commonwealth family. Thank you all and I wish you a very successful meeting.